RC4 or SR20. What do you suggest? We make our own rivalries. Yo, so when we saw the positivity, I feel like we all just hate on everything is killing me. Thoughts build quick, causing different possibilities. Negative thoughts will cause different disabilities. So do better, work hard under pressure. If you got no time, work smarter than ever. Don't ever let them tell you that you can't never say never and turn your mind into the truest to go getters. Never stop, I'll get it if I want it Gotta make to myself a promise I won't quit, keep going till I got it I won't give up till I'm on top, yeah You know I'm always honest There ain't no way I'm ever stopping I won't quit, keep going till I got it I won't give up till I'm on top, yeah How's it going guys? Welcome back. In this video I'm gonna compare two shoes, the new RC4 and the uh, LCL20 version 3. As usual, let's split the video in three different chapters. A quick comparison of the specs and the running dynamics, uh, BOR and GCT. A comparison of the hustle, mid soul, upper and price. And finally, the conclusions. But before to start, an important remark. Uh, I bought both pair of shoes with my money and no one is paying me for this review. Thanks to all of you who is already subscribed and uh, is supporting the channel, leaving like and interesting comments. Uh, for the others, consider to subscribe if you haven't yet and uh, activate the notification bell so that you won't miss uh, any new video. Moreover, as an Italian, I love to drink coffee, so if you want to support me for uh, the review of new running gears, you can offer me a coffee in the link down below. Let's keep this channel growing, guys. I really love your support. You are making me happy. Looking at the specs, there is no difference of weight, 236 grams, 8.32 ounces for the RC4, 237 grams, 8.35 ounces for the SL20. We have no difference of drop, 8 millimeters, 27 millimeters in the heel, 19 millimeters in the forefoot. Such a drop gives me a little bit of a brief to my calves and in general for long distance trainings or races I prefer to wear shoes with a drop of 8 or 10 millimeters. Both midsole have the same uh, form in the midsole, they are both full light strike, don't tell me that I haven't told you, but with a different shape, uh, with different running dynamics, which we'll see in a moment. The RC4 has the torsion system, while the SL20 has nothing. Maybe to be less rigid? I don't know. The RC4 upper contains a minimum of 50% uh, recycled content, and both shoes are true to size. They look pretty similar from the specs, uh, but they are not. Uh, the feeling is totally different, especially during the sprints or fast pace. Uh, stay till the end of the video. In the conclusion, I'll tell you uh, which one I prefer in this regard. Let's check now the running dynamics and uh, stability. For both shoes, I run five different tests uh, that you can see on the left hand side of the screen, uh, all in the treadmill to have same condition and speed. The running dynamics collected are the GCT, the ground contact time, which represents the response, the lower values indicates a better response, and the VOR, the vertical oscillation ratio, which represent the efficiency or running form, lower values uh, indicate better running efficiency. In average, what we can observe is that uh, they are both responsive, but the RC4 increasing the pace is uh, more firm with a lower vertical oscillation ratio, so instead of propelling you uh, up, uh, it propels you more forward, uh, uh, being more efficient at a uh, faster pace. The behave of the SL20 version 3 instead is always the same, even increasing the pace, so kind of flat behave which uh, ensures the same cushioning uh, at every pace. This is exactly what I was expecting, uh, a flat uh, behave of the SL20, almost boring, uh, and uh, a more efficient firm response and, e and efficiency for faster pace for the RC4. I'm kind of surprised about the response of the SL20 version 3, didn't expect, uh, even without uh, the torsion system, kind of weird. In terms of cushioning, the SL20 version 3 is much better than the RC4, uh, even if they use the same foam and the ashiness measure is the same. It feels better, softer and more comfortable. The RC4 is a firm shoe uh, and you can feel it since uh, the first kilometer. If you like the ground feel or you train more in the track or even um, for the treadmill, for instance, uh, it is the perfect shoe for you. In terms of stability, both shoes are pretty stable as you can see here, so perfect for my running technique. With that being said, guys, I believe we are ready to step into the next chapter. Ready? Go! Starting from the household, the SL20 uh, version 3 has a layer of continental rubber in the forefoot, so great quality and uh, 
And with an interesting pattern, uh, the RC4 instead has no continental rubber, I guess it's uh, the Hardyware rubber. Both are durable, mm, even if the continental rubber is better in terms of quality. Both are not stiff uh, and uh, thick like in the Audio 6 or 7, but the grip of the SL20 is much better, especially in the gravel path, due to the design pattern uh, of the outsole and uh, probably also to the continental rubber. Better quality, better results. Since there is no torsion system in the SL20, the exposed foam is a bit more extended uh, than in the RC4 and after 300 km start to wear in the middle of the forefoot and the shoe become uh, less responsive and uh, a little bit floppy. Looking at the midsole, we have already seen most of the differences. Uh, even having the same stockade, uh, it looks to be in more quantity in the SL20 version 3, uh, which means more comfort and uh, less firmness than in the RC4. As we have seen in the running dynamics, the midsole in the SL20 has a kind of flat behave, uh, different running pace, uh, uh, while um, the RC4 become better increasing the pace, uh, assuring a better efficiency and uh, exactly represent my impression about uh, uh, these two models. I found the RC4 perfect for short fast workouts, even the track and the SL20 sorry to say a bit boring uh, to the, the flat uh, behave so I would not suggest the SL20 for fast workouts. And the upper, what about the upper? The mesh are different, lighter and more breathable in the SL20, more solid but less breathable in the RC4, we can't have everything. <laughs> the foot lockdown are okay in both shoes, uh, the tongue in the SL20 is better, because it doesn't have the unnecessary padding as in the RC4 and uh, it is still comfortable. The lockdown system for the laces uh, has still these horrible rings uh, in the SL20, therefore I prefer the simple one in the RC4, which is much more durable in my opinion. I already broke one of the rings uh, for the laces in the SL20 version 2, as you know, uh, if you have seen my video review. So I would not recommend. In terms of feet, I prefer the RC4 because it rubs better the foot and I feel less shoe in my feet. Uh, with the SL20, I feel to have a bigger shoe in my feet and uh, it leaves a bit of room, uh, which I don't like, especially in the tongues at faster pace. In terms of price, there are uh, 20 euro of uh, difference in Europe, uh, 110 euro for the RC4, 130 euro for the SL20 version 3, but I guess you can find both shoes uh, out there in the market for less than 100 euro without too much effort, which is still a good value for money. As always, it's time for the conclusion now. We say that uh, they have the same weight, uh, the outsole in the SL20 version 3 is better because the grip and the continental rubber, they have the same drop and stockade. Uh, in terms of running dynamics, they have similar rest but different efficiency. For faster pace, the RC4 has a better efficiency, whether the SL20 is totally flat, but uh, with a better cushioning. So in conclusion, for training, I would suggest the SL20 version 3 for long run uh, at a slower pace, uh, maybe some tempo run, even if, in my opinion, there are better shoes out there for tempo run, like the Boston 11 or the ASICS Evo Ride 2, for instance. The RC4 instead would be perfect for interval training, so short tempo run, uh, no longer than 10K, uh, otherwise you will feel your knees uh, burning at the end as uh, I did already, and also perfect for the training in the track uh, or in the treadmill. For racing, I would not use the SL20, but the RC4 could be great for a 5k race. I hope this was interesting, if you like this content don't forget to leave a like, I truly love your support, you are making me happy as usual, as usual guys, thanks for watching, until the next time, keep running! In my veins, I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stop in this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight, never stop, never changed All the squad here to play and I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no, I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say